Tuesday, December 10th, 2019, the 10th day of Whiskey Advent with the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6th edition. What's it going to be? Check it out on the Whiskey Whistle. Ring ding jingling, my whiskey friends. Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you day 10, the 10th day for the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6th edition. What is it going to be today? Let's check it out. Let me put my glass aside for a minute. And we will turn this, get her opened. Isn't that nice, my lazy Susan? Now, where is day 10? I think I saw it already right there so let's get it out and again as you know I'm keeping these little pogs and I make something with it yep okay all right now let me get get that out come to Papa there we go I didn't see I didn't see what do we have there folks I think I see a Douglas Lang and Co insignia there oh i saw it oh no okay it's big pete all right douglas lang and co's big pete the standard edition 46 percent abv very excited about this i haven't had the basic big pete since i want to say 2013 maybe 2014 somewhere in there with my friend Ramy. Hi Ramy. All right. We'll go about halfway in. Look at that nice light color. Pale as straw. Even less pale than that. All right. Very pale. It's natural in color. It's unchill filtered. This is an Isla blended malt scotch whiskey. A blend of single malts all from Isla. Now let me just look on the website here really quick. 46% ABV. Big Pete is a marriage of single malt scotch whiskeys only from the island of Isla with Coolila, Beaumore, Port Ellen, and Ardbeg. These are the malts that are blended here for this particular standard edition. Beaumore, Ardbeg, Coolila, and Port Ellen. Very cool that we've got Port Ellen in here. As you know, Port Ellen goes for thousands of dollars for official bottles. So we've got something very interesting here. Now, according to my memory, it's got bold peat. It's got some nice sweetness. It seems to be lighter than I recall. And it would be different year to year, I would guess, because of the varying casks that are getting blended together. So first of all, Let's have a look at the color for Big Pete. What do you see there for color? Again, that nice straw, very light straw, almost like the color of lemon sherbet, something like that kind of a color. Such a pale white, pale, pale yellow, pardon me. And gorgeous to look at. It's nice knowing that it's all natural. That's really cool. Let's check out the legs for Big Pete. So let's check the legs out for Big Pete. Pretty brisk legs for Big Pete, given its ABV of 46%. Probably also generally younger ages involved here for Big Pete. Pretty nice looking legs despite, I would expect a light to medium body for Big Pete. Let's see if I'm right. On to the nose. Lots of citrus. Subtle, not subtle, modest, billowing peat, peat smoke. Not overpowering. This is not Octomore. This is approachable, more like Beaumore is approachable. And I think you've got some old Port Ellen, obviously. You've got some, probably some young Ardbeg. You've probably got some older Beaumore, I'm guessing. 
And what was the last one? Kulila. Some nicely aged Kulila, I believe. That would be my guess. Altogether giving it a medium 30, 35 ppm type of peat. I guess that's really heavy. I think Ardbeg, Lefroig, these are heavily peated. And then Octomore is just ridiculously peated. All right. So lemon, I've got hay. I've got some buttered grain toast. I've got a little bit of mineral, a little bit of iodine, not very much there. Not quite the Band-Aid style of peat but a little bit like an uh, antiseptic peat note. So it does smell like you could dress a wound with that. You certainly could uh, disinfect a wound with this. It would probably hurt like the Dickens though. The closer I get, the more I can see it's gonna be a bit dry. And age-wise, it comes off as 12-ish, 10, 12-ish years old for your typical Isla single malt. And I'm guessing it's probably a range of um, four or five up to 20 or 30 years old in the shape of um, Port Ellen. On to the palate then. Cheers, everyone. That Ardbeg soot comes through on the palate. You've got that smooth bomoir keeping things real. Flavors, I'm getting a little bit of, little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of that grain bread. Citrus and burnt, burnt lemon peel. A little bit of pine, pine needles burning on a, on a fire. Slight smoked fruits going on here. A spiced Christmas ham. So there is some cinnamon. There is a little bit of nutmeg in there. There's a tiny bit of ginger working in here nicely too. Sweet ginger. More like a gingerbread, but a really spicy one. Now I just did a blind tasting of a bunch of Isla single malt Scotch whiskeys and other Isla blended malt Scotch whiskeys. No, 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 it was all single malts, pardon me. And my winner was very surprising. And that's going to end up being um, something that you'll see coming very soon. But it's not always the case that old wins. Sometimes you can do cool things with casks and young whiskey and get something that's very excellent. I saw that in... Um, Tomatin Legacy, or um, what was it called in USA? Dulcas, 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 however it's said. A winner for me. Wish I had more of that. And this Isla single malt, which is very different, is a winner for me too. All right, let's check out the nose with water then. It brings out some ash and some burnt meat notes like the the leftover black bits in your in your fry pan after you've uh, done a, a steak on the fry pan it 
There's also a sweeter edge that's coming out with water added. Lemon sugar. That's really pretty. Onto the palette then with water. Cheers, everyone. At the same time that it brings out some more earthy peaty notes, they're also a little bit shifted to these earthy tones, more of this um, buttered like rye bread. Caraway. It's a little bit waxy, which is nice. Oily. Very mouth coating. And the body actually is, we'll call it light medium. Somewhere between light and medium body. And you actually get a lemon vanilla coming through here with water. The spice is still there, cinnamon. Very, very strong ginger bread. Ginger, that means the ginger cookie, I mean. In case you're not familiar with gingerbread, that's actually a cookie called gingerbread. Um, pepper. Mm, Dutch pepper cake the what do you call that i forget what it's called german they also make that in germany as well um pretty nice little hint of nutmeg in there but a pretty nice overall package here with big pete i feel like it does a good job of keeping abreast say with art big 10 or Beaumore 12, um, Kulila 12, and actually comes up with something that's unique unto itself with that added Port Ellen. Now, I can't really pick out the Port Ellen. I've had Port Ellen like once or twice, so it's pretty tough for me to say what I'm noticing here, but it's a nice package. Hmm. Pretty enjoyable, and I wish I could buy another bottle of Big Pete here in Manitoba. It hasn't been available since about 2014. Tisk tisk. That should be a regular feature all the time, all year round, with the Christmas editions every year. Get into it. Come on. Just saying. Anyway, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Big Pete from Douglas Lang and Company. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 86 out of 100. You heard it. 86 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Big Pete Standard 46%. Available year round. Excellent stuff. Well made. A nice intro to Isla. It's also beautiful in that it's natural color and it's unchill filtered. A good mix of, um, we'll call them maturely aged casks, obviously. We don't know exactly what age that is. Probably, I'm saying, it's probably five, six years old. Could be eight. Not too sure. Not that important, but uh, altogether a nice dram. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit the little emblem right over here to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you're notified of the future whiskey whistles. Ding, ding. And if you've been enjoying my content, why not check me out on Patreon, become a patron of the channel, join the Whiskey Whistle crew patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle check me out all right take care everybody see you for december 11. Mm -hmm.